All vegetables can grow in sacks and containers. That is my policy. This is Amaranthus dubious. I planted them in these sacks and so far so good you can see they have started germinating very well. This is only four days. It is a nutritious vegetable known as commonly known as mchicha in Kiswahili or terere in Kikuyu, Lidodo in Luya, Ododo in Luo. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Orina Dominic. Thank you for following me each and every day and I hope that you are learning and getting some skills on how to grow your vegetables in sacks and containers. For those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. As I request those who have not subscribed, to subscribe please click on the bell so that in every moment i post my video you'll be the first person to be notified thank you very much for your support and i know that we are growing together after five days all the seeds have germinated very well this is a faster growing vegetable which grows and matures very fast within a very short time and i think if i'm not wrong this is the kind of vegetable you need in your kitchen garden. In my previous videos, I taught you how to prepare soil, how to prepare sacks and the containers for planting. If already you have all those skills, the only thing you need is to plant your vegetables. Two weeks later, you can see how they are doing very well, growing bigger and bigger each and every day. Although they are growing very close to each other, that is not a problem. I'm going to teach you a garden practice to take when your vegetables are overcrowded. Fresh, healthy and bigger. Now you can see how beautiful my vegetable looks like. This is just in a sack. What are you waiting for? As I am teaching you, you are supposed to walk to your nearest agrovet and buy your seeds, Amaranthus dubious, from Simalo Seed Company and start your project now. Now, let us go back to what I wanted to teach you today. When your plants are overcrowded, and that is thinning. What is thinning? Thinning is the removal of some extra plants from overcrowded nursery bed or seed bed. We do this by just uprooting the plant. Mostly, we remove the thinner and unhealthy plants to make room for the well growth of others. Remember the ones that you leave to grow must be healthy, bigger and strong. Now it is easy for you to identify the one to remove or to uproot and the ones to leave to grow. Importance of thinning in our kitchen gardens. It reduces the competition for sunlight, water, nutrients and provide good air circulation between the plants. And this helps the vegetables to stay healthy and grow faster. You can also do transplanting within the circle of the container. Remember, not all spaces the seeds germinated. There are some empty spaces that were left within the circle or the container where the seeds did not germinate at all. You'll do what we call transplanting. You take some extra seedlings from some place and then take it to the empty space and plant the seedling there. That is what we call gapping in agriculture. Filling in the empty spaces whereby the seed did not germinate, all the seedling died. When we grow our vegetables on the ground, we use jembe or panga to weed. But in sacks and containers, we just use a small stick to loosen the soil around the vegetables. This is to encourage good drainage and aeration in the soil. Aeration means the circulation of air within the soil. My good people, thank you for listening to me and watching all the activities that I've done. And I hope that you have learned a lot. Just put them into practice and you are going to get amazing result. I love teaching you and I know you love listening and watching my videos.
I request you please again subscribe to my YouTube channel, share to your families and friends so that they can also learn and practice this kind of gardening. My next episode will be harvesting my amaranthus vegetables. Thank you and be blessed.